Welcome to this Tobacco University video where I'm going to go over key plant hormones and give you kind of a quick general summary of many of the hormones that impact plants. All right, let's get into those key plant hormones here. So first off, I want you to understand that there's many plant hormones. There's not just one, there's not just two, and even within the couple categories, there's multiples that may fall uh, under that same category. So there's many different plant hormones. Uh, some of the main categories of plant hormones will be covered and provided you a general overview, but I just want you to realize that just under gibberellins, and that's just one uh, plant hormone, typically abbreviated GAs, there's over 120 identified, some with different um, kind of effects on the plants here. And they're at least kind of commonly named with GA1, GA2, GA3, so on and so forth. So realize that within gibberellins, there is 120 just under that one. And they can have everything from enhancing calcium, phosphorus, potassium um, content to promoting seed germination to stimulating stem and root growth. So a lot of different studies with a lot of different hormones. Now, also the interaction with all these hormones, that can get very confusing. So I tried to write a little couple summary charts here where we can see some have inhibitory effects on others, some um, block others, some also kind of promote others or work synergistically together. We kind of get all these crazy kind of interactions that may occur. So this can get confusing. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on all the complexities once you realize that there is a lot at play here. We're going to focus on just the basics. So typically also when we have our hormones, uh, a series of steps and pathways are involved. So here we see with tricantinol, uh, what does it cause? Well, it can cause greater dry weight and growth. Wonderful. How does it um, kind of accomplish that? Well, we could see there's secondary messengers, there's enzymes involved, there's some metabolism changes in effect. There's this kind of cascading effect that while we have one thing that creates one result, it goes about it in many different uh, pathways and it impacts many different aspects of the plant. So what are some of these kind of plant hormones? You know, what's a general summary? Uh, these are the key ones. There's auxins, gibberellins, cytokinins, abscisic acid, and ethylene. This would be a great uh, kind of slide to pause and kind of go through some of these. However, each of these are covered on separate videos here on Tobacco University. So good to kind of, kind of type that name in the search within the channel, find some of these so you can learn a little bit more about what the main highlight is for each of these five main hormones. However, there's also more hormones that will be covered, and we can see a couple listed here. And these are kind of like also, you know, plant hormones, but a little less uh, known, a little kind of those secondary uh, plant hormones. And you can see their effects can be very important and everything, you know, prom uh, promote the primary root growth, leaf senescence. Uh, so they are definitely important in pathways of the plant, but maybe a little less understood, a little less kind of commonly uh, covered, but all covered here specifically with their own video that you're welcome to check out here on Tobacco University.